There are so many bad things happening all around the world, some of us may also have personal problems. All of that might give us the feeling that life and people can be cruel, and that we cannot trust anybody. Well I hope this video proves to you that there are still good people in the world, and that it restores your faith in humanity. Here are some of the top random acts of kindness. Life is like a mystery or like gambling. We never know what lies ahead of us every day as we wake up. And that is part of what makes life beautiful. In this clip, a guy is shaving his girlfriend's hair. We don't get much context on why this is happening, but from what we see we can assume that she is going through a hard time, perhaps sickness. Shaving her hair off might have been very tough on her. What we can see next is a symbol of pure love and solidarity. Her boyfriend started shaving his own hair as he whispered, just like you. The girl deeply touched and in tears received the support she needed, and coming from her boyfriend, it must have felt 1000 times better. To many it could have been a kind gesture, but to her it was a symbol of how strong his love for her is. Living with a disability can be very challenging. This world sometimes puts blocks and walls to someone who is already struggling enough. And such is the case of deaf people who have to rely on a different type of language, sign language, to express what they want. Unfortunately the majority of the people including myself, don't know sign language, and therefore the amount of persons that someone who relies on sign language can communicate with is limited. A group of neighbors realized this, and decided to learn sign language to be able to communicate with a deaf neighbor. They took group classes and prepared a surprise for him. Having his sister as an accomplice, they had him walking through the neighborhood and meeting different people along the way who would talk to him through sign language. After a couple persons he started wondering what was happening, it was strange to him that so many people would be using sign language. At the end when the truth was revealed, the deaf man could not help his tears and was deeply touched by the neighborhood's kindness. In the middle of a flight, a flight attendant asked the passengers about who knew how to finger spell. Finger spelling is a method of spelling words by using hand shapes. Fortunately, on board was a 15-year-old girl who had been learning sign language for a year. The flight attendant explained that there was a 64-year-old man named Tim who was blind and deaf. The teen then took on the task to communicate with him about anything that he might need on the flight. Tim and Clara proceeded to have a one-hour conversation. Another passenger took a picture of the kind act and uploaded it to social media where it became viral. This just once again demonstrates that there are people with big hearts in the world, and one might be sitting next to you. This story has a double act of kindness. Let me explain. Ebony was 18 years old and a waitress for the Waffle House. Every dollar and tip that she earned from her hard work went into paying her university tuition. On a regular busy morning at the restaurant, a 78-year-old man named Adrian asked Ebony whether she would cut his food for him, as his arms and hands were not strong enough to do so. And although the restaurant was packed and she had a million things to tend to, Ebony said yes. She took her time to cut the food for Adrian and had a conversation with him, she was never disrespectful or rude to him. The moment was captured in a photo by another customer who uploaded it to social media. It got so much attention that the city rewarded Ebony's act of kindness with a $16,000 scholarship to Texas Southern University. This just shows that sometimes you get rewarded by your good actions, but even if you aren't you should still do them. Many of us might have a bad perception of prison inmates. They might be there for a bad act that they committed. Nonetheless, even inmates can be rehabilitated, they can learn from their mistakes, and they can do good actions. This is Deputy Hobbs, he works at a prison and is well-liked and respected among the prisoners. One day at the job, Deputy Hobbs started having a cardiac emergency. He collapsed. Smalls, a prisoner on the lower floor saw this and started banging his door and yelling for help. This alerted the other prisoners who started doing the same thing. Their yelling helped Deputy Hobbs to regain consciousness, and he opened the cell door of two inmates, Walter and Terry, who ran towards him and used his radio to call for help. Deputy Hobbs was saved by the inmates and is forever grateful to them. This is what the inmates had to say. So we didn't do anything for Deputy Hobbs that he would not have did for us, and there's not a doubt in my mind. Help and kind acts can come from everyone. We all know the feeling of entering into a car that has been parked under the hot sun. It feels like a human oven. That is why when dad left his keys and his one-year-old daughter inside the car, they knew that they needed to rescue her fast. 
The parents frantically called the police for help. Fortunately some police officers were nearby with a group of work release inmates. In order to avoid smashing the car window, the inmates proposed using their skills for this mission. They were granted permission by the police officers, and the inmates proceeded to break into the car using a coat hanger. The entire ordeal was recorded by the girl's mother who posted it to social media. The girl was unharmed, and the prisoners learned a valuable lesson. We are unaware of the hardships that someone else might be going through. A small act of kindness can brighten up their day. In addition to that, remember that if you give positive energy off to the world, the world will reward you with even more positive energy. What was your favorite clip? Leave it in the comments, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more epic clips. See you in the next one, take care.